Welcome back for another edition of Edelbrock Live. I'm here with Eric again, and today mm -hmm. we're going to be uh, talking about the, our, one of our newest superchargers, the Miata MX-5 supercharger. Yeah, this is really new. This is, like I said, our newest uh, supercharger for the import side of business. Yep. We had the FRS BRZ for the last three years, two, like two, three that, years. Yep. Um, so this is the latest and greatest for the Miata. Um, this is the newer platform, so this would be 14 and up. Yep. 14 and up. Um, so this makes 198 wheel horsepower and 182 wheel torque, which is, uh, if you factor that back, because the factory uses the drive, they actually use crank power. Yep. It, it, when you do the math on it, it works out to a 41% increase in horsepower and a 36% increase in torque, which for a small car like that is really big. Yeah. So a uh, really cool little product. It uses, uh, it's all built super compact. If you actually take a look, I'll show you in the screen here, you can see the whole kit laid out. But inside a vehicle, it's really compact. It actually sits in there and kind of in this format down to the side of the engine. So really compact, fits under the stock hood, no modifications to the stock hood. It's a bolt-on installation. Um, everything comes that you need, you can see here in the picture, everything you need comes right out of the box, ready to go. We got preformed hoses, uh, the air filter, the high, high flow air filter. I mean, all the goodies. I mean, literally, it's all there. So you need, everything you got is ready to go. Um, and, and then Eddie can kind of talk to you about the internals and the engineering that went into this. Yeah, so one of the, just like every other supercharger that we offer, it all, they all use the water to air intercooler. So this setup uses this intercooler here. So the good part is this part actually bolts on right to the head. And what, what happens is you put the intercooler straight in here. It already comes assembled, so you don't have to worry about any of this. Yeah. So this comes, comes assembled like that, and this bolts on straight into the supercharger. So the good part is it actually cools the, the air, the charged air before it enters the engine. So it gives you better, uh, better air temps and all that kind of stuff. So of course, you know, cooler air temps, uh, more horsepower, and you know, drivability is just awesome. It's pretty much what all the OEMs use. Yeah. Uh, the, this system uses the uh, Eaton rotors, just like every other supercharger we have. But this one it uses a, a 900 series. So it's a, it's a little less than a liter. Um, the only reason we didn't go with anything bigger is because just it's so compact. I mean, if you look at this, the supercharger installed in a Miata, it is really, a, really tight. It's a tight I mean, you can't you can't even slip your hand in on the side of that engine. It's yeah. really compact, and that's the only reason that we didn't go with something bigger. Originally, we wanted to do something like a 23, uh, the 1320 that we used in the the BRZ FRS and the Jeep, yeah, and the Jeep as well. Um, but just to you know size constraints and all that kind of stuff, they ended up going with the 900 series, and it was. A, I believe when we did it, uh, it was one of Ian's newer, smaller, one of the yeah. smallest ones they offer. So that's why we ended up going with that. Um, like I said, it's the same system that all the OEMs use. It's the Ian rotors. So you know the quality's there, you know. Um, once it's installed, I mean, it's whisper quiet. You can't hear it. A lot of people, again, a lot of people complain. They want that wine. They want the wine. I, I get it. <laughs> I, I kind of enjoy the wine too. But all that, all that is, it's just, you know, inefficiency of the rotors. You know, it's actually air leaking through the sides of the rotors and the housing and stuff like that. So all our tolerances are so tight that it pretty much feels like you bought a car with a bigger engine. Yeah. You know, you get an extra around 50 horsepower, like Eric said, 41% increase. Um, and a car that small and that light, it really does wake the car up. I mean, it just, it, it's a real, you know, once, if you take it to the track, you're going to notice a difference right away. Yeah, and you can see in the dynograph here, I pulled it up, you got essentially the stock numbers down here, and then these are your improved numbers up here. Another important thing, too, that, that uh, we need to touch off on is we actually have a, cali a full team of calibration engineers. They spend a lot of time oh, yeah. working on the calibration, and not just to getting the efficiency out of the supercharger system, it's or also about... Or just max power, either. Yeah, it's, it's, it's drivability. Exactly. Like, they really work it, really do a good job of really smoothing it out. And if you can see here, look how smooth the torque and the horsepower curves are nice and smooth. You look at stock, you got some dips in there. It gets a little weird in some spots. So that's really, that's where, you know, when you're in, when you're driving it, that's where you feel. That's what we talk about when we see yep. drivability or see the pants performance. Exactly. It's that, that feel of how it feels. We're, we're actually taking, you know, some of that stock tune and working all those kinks out and really just making a nice, smooth power band. That way it's continually building power. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, the, the cool thing is, this, these horsepower numbers that you're looking at, I mean, that's OEM, you know, that's, that's actual uh, smog legal kit and everything. I mean, that's a base tune. Um, you could go in there and get a custom tune as well. Squeeze a little bit more horsepower. We're actually working on an, uh, a private project with uh, one of our, one of a, one of a shop that yeah. they brought their car in here. Um, we don't really offer those kind of services to the public, but we're yeah. doing a special deal with them. They're, they're shooting for around like 220, 230, even maybe 240 at the, at the wheel. 
So, I mean, for a car that light, I mean, it's really going to wake it up. Yeah, That's the cool absolutely. part. Absolutely. Yeah, and look forward to that. We'll have that, some information come up that on a feature in our blog. So, yep. we're actually going to kind of dive into it and go like, hey, here's that stock system. Yeah. You know, um, but then here's what you can do with it. And in this case, it's a purpose-built race car. Um, and it's really a whole nother level. So oh, yeah, yeah, it'd be kind of a neat little build to see, but it shows the potential of what this can do. You exactly. can take the stage one stock system, put on a race car, do custom headers, tune, all that stuff, mm -hmm. and really pour a lot more power out of these. And we've had some guys, I think the FRS B or Z side, there's some guys mm -hmm. here locally in California that are really like trying to reach well, they, a pretty lofty number on the They're, on they're aiming system. for like a little over 400, almost 500 horsepower. Yeah, on like a two that, liter. Full, yeah, yeah, on a two liter fully built, but I mean, it's, full race you know you're talking i think race fuel or e85 something like that um another one of the greatest uh, features of all our superchargers is, is the uh, self-contained oil system um, again there's no plumbing there's no routing of uh, oil hoses or anything like that it's all self-contained so you it's a service of a hundred thousand miles so i mean realistically a hundred thousand miles you don't have to worry about it for for a good yeah. while yeah. i mean it's and it's as easy as draining out the oil filling it back up and that's it it's it's less than half a quart of oil um, we offer that that oil as well and these kits do come with or without the tuner as well. So we use EQTech to tune all the, all the uh, pretty much the stock you know, computer and it comes with a base tune. You plug it in, you load it up and you're, you're ready to go. Yeah, absolutely. It's a really, like I said, it's a really cool system. Um, pricing wise, we have them available with tune, which, which that we are our emissions legal stage one tune and without a tuner. Um, without a tuner is really for the shop that maybe does four or five installs yeah. a month. So they're saving, they're just going to drop the tune in for the, for the owner. The owner doesn't need the, the, the Ecotech system. So it's yeah. kind of more of a cost effective for a shop that does a lot of installs, has a tune and goes. So, or it's um, also for the guys that already have the, the tuner themselves. You know, if they bought a tuner and they had already put exhaust, stuff like that, and they don't need the tuner, then that's what they go yeah. with, you know. So with tune, we're talking $5,300 at the street price. And without the tune, we're talking $4,600. Yeah. So it's not, I mean, fairly reasonable. Um, we try to price our systems so that they match the vehicle. So we know this isn't, you know, a 60, 50, $80,000 car. Yeah. We understand that it's got to match that. So I think this is really reasonable for, for what you get. Like I said, it's a, let's switch back to it. I mean, it's, there's a lot in this kit, a lot of R&D and engineering that's gone in on our side, a lot of testing, you know. Um, we also had, you know, there's a lot of testing that goes in to get the emissions tuned from carb and making emissions legal. So yeah. there's a lot of work and a lot of, you know, I want to say blood, hoping the blood, sweat, and tears, yeah. but there's been a lot of work that goes in these, and that's why we also we try to make the price right. So, yeah, yeah it's really, and then you want to talk about the bypass valve? Uh, that's right, that's right. So, um, so the cool part about a lot, all of our kits is that we utilize a bypass valve. So pretty much what that does, we actually removed it just so we could show you what it is, and pretty much what that does is it allows you when you're not under boost it just drives like a normal car it's not building any pressure it's just it's actually bypassing the rotor pack and it's just driving like a normal car once you actually step on it the bypass valve actually closes it starts building up boost you get that extra power that way the drivability your gas mileage it doesn't really get affected yeah of course uh, some people say, you know, it does affect it, but naturally when you have extra horsepower, you're going to end up using it. Well, you know? yeah, anybody <laughs> that buys a supercharger, just understand you're not really trying to play the gas mileage game and yeah. get the best gas mileage. I mean, you know, like I said, I know I, I have a supercharger in my truck, yep. and over the years I've kind of done some gas mileage comparisons from when I didn't have it Before and have and it. After. And honestly, if, I, if I'm not paying attention and I'm just driving, doing my usual driving, and I'm not... Having, yep. Yeah, not having fun with it. Yep. It's about a mile per gallon, maybe two miles yeah. that I'm losing, you know, but at the same time, I'm getting that performance. So yep. it's understandable. But the bypass valve does help with that, yep. does help with drivability, and does help to try to maximize, I guess, the fuel mileage yep. you know, could maybe lose, per yeah. se. But, but yeah, so it's a really, and this is all, again, this is all made in house. Um, yep. you know, we have a design team here. This is designed in house, cast in house yep. in our factories here in California. It's actually cast. Uh, here in California and also machined in the building behind us here. Yep. So this is, a, you know, again, it's a made in USA product, um, you know, as much as we can. I mean, definitely there's a, there's a lot of cast parts and, and, and hard work that went into this. Yeah, I mean, all the, all the hoses for the intercoolers, everything like that, again, it's all pre-bent, just like OEM spec. Um, you don't have to worry about routing things. I mean, it's yeah. all set up, so, so the ease of installation is just there. Yeah, that's something know? that we bring to the party that some of our competitors don't. Yeah. I know you talk to shops, and a lot of our competitors will just give you yeah, 20 give feet you of hose wound up with it and say... They'll tell you where to connect it, and that's <laughs> yeah. pretty much it. You have to figure out where to yeah. route it, all that kind of stuff. The I mean, instruction, it, it might say, like, cut here, cut there. Yeah. But, you know, with ours, it looks like an OEM install. Exactly. And it's really clean and nice. I mean, yeah, and less it, shops rave about especially it. Especially the, the booklet that you get for the installation yeah. instructions. I mean, it's detailed pictures. It's highlighted parts. 
I mean, and we do that all here in house inside the toy barn where we're at, you know, yeah. the guys sit there, take pictures, they do the descriptions. I mean, it is, that's one thing that, you know, we pride ourselves a lot is the ease of installation and the detailed instructions that come with it. Definitely. We got any uh, questions on the feed? No, no questions, but we got some comments. Uh, Tom Dugan, Tom actually has our, an E-Force on his 2011 Camaro. There you go. Plus some other goodies. And um, sounds like I'm just kind of quickly reading through his other posts. He says he actually drove the car to SoCal Got 27 miles to the gallon with the AC on. On a Camaro? On a Camaro doing oh, wow. 75 <laughs> miles an hour. So good for you, man. That's you Tom. Go. That's that's really good. That's I mean, that's, that's the great thing about it. Like you said, once you get into that, you know, cruise mode, really, that's 20, what, you know. Anything over 20 miles an hour oh. with over 500 horsepower is pretty impressive. I would love to have that in my truck. Yeah. Man. I mean, I'm not getting 27 miles a gallon, I'll tell you that. So. I have a Honda and I don't even get 20. <laughs> <laughs> so no, that's a, so there, there you go. There's a testament from somebody who has another system, not this one, but has a similar E4 system. and. And, um, you know, he's loving it. He's awesome. got more power and he's, you know, he's, he's getting decent gas mileage. He's getting really good gas mileage. Like I yeah. said, that's, that's pretty crazy. That's pretty good. But yeah, yeah. no, no other questions yet. But yeah, so well. definitely if you want more information, check out our website. We have a full line of E4 systems. Yep. Like you see here, like, like Tom, he's got a Camaro. We got Camaro. We have FRS, BRZ. Um, we're also working on some new stuff. Maybe here in a couple months well, we can talk about. We might, know? we might be able to sneak some of that out, you know, see yeah. if we can get it out of engineering. Maybe bring exactly. it up here and talk about it. But, um, I mean, that's pretty much on my side. You got yeah. anything else, sir? No, I think that's it. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you guys next week, and uh, we're out of here. Take, Take it care. easy.